Beach season may be coming to a close, but people are still taking advantage of the warm days. Carteret County Commissioners met today for their annual State of the Beach meeting. News 12's Elena Laster was there as concerns were discussed. Elena, this comes after a powerful storm rolled through our area last week. That powerful storm dropped a lot of rain in a very short amount of time here in Carteret County. But here in Emerald Isle, as you can see behind me, people are still enjoying the beautiful weather at the beach, even though we are seeing those high waters and that beach erosion. Extremely high erosion rates as compared to the historical averages. Carteret County say they are facing heavy beach erosion this year, comparing our current coastline to 2017 pre-Florence. Even despite all the erosion we had, at least at this point, the level of protection is still there. So Nicole Vanderbeck is a coastal engineer with MOFAT and Nickel. She says this year is by no means the worst state the beach has been in, but it also was not the best. A couple years ago, there was a very significant um, volume loss of about a million cubic yards, so less than what we saw this past year, but still significant. And the following year, the uh, county actually gained sand. Emerald Isle and Pine Knoll Shores are seeing the impact today from the severe storm that dropped heavy rain in just a few hours last week. And I think we actually started to see some recovery over the summer before this king tide and tropical cyclone event. And so the hope is that the remainder of hurricane season can stay nice and calm and we can kind of get that recovery going again. Ryan Davenport is the shore protection manager for Carteret County. He says that although the beaches are thin and unable to hold vehicles right now, they won't be for long. It's one of the towns is actively uh, pursuing the repair of those access ways and that should happen within days. The commission ruled in favor of a motion to pursue a hotspot maintenance renourishment project, which would include bringing in more sand to fill in some of those high erosion areas. They're hoping to make this project come together as quickly as possible. Although the state of the beach statistics are from April 2023 to April 2024, she says that they're more compatible with what we're seeing today than how we were last week. Live in Carteret County, I'm Elena Laster, News 12.